Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Angel. Thanks so much for being here. And as promised, today we're going to take our first trip to Hobby Lobby to see what we can find to put in that new bathroom that we're working on. So without further ado, let's shop. The first area that I always start in is the print section at Hobby Lobby. You can find some phenomenal, beautiful prints there, such as this one. The paint on this is heavily textured and raised away from the canvas, as well as having a gorgeous gold frame all the way around. Another area that I noticed that seems to be really popular are these prints that look like painted tapestries. It's actually a fabric under glass that either has a print motif or a hand-painted motif on them. Some of them, such as this one, the matting is heavily textured, and then the tapestry itself or the print is raised away from the matting. Another area that I always check out is the mirror section at Hobby Lobby. They really have some affordable options there that are so close to the high-end designer pieces that we are seeing out there, but for a fraction of the cost. I so wish that I had an area in my home to display this mirror. It is just stunning. Hobby Lobby has really stepped up on their decor pieces. One thing that I noticed were that these boxes really have a high-end luxury feel to them. It's kind of a faux leather with these brass gold handles, and the prices just couldn't be beat. I love that we continue to see the container and vase trend, but that we're moving towards some very elegant scalloped and fluted colored glass to add to our collections. I also really enjoy the vases that look like a bust, and this was one that I found at Hobby Lobby that's part of what they're calling their gift collection. That was new to me, and when I inquired, they said that those will not be on the rotation for the 40 or 50% off, but this will always be the everyday price. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this gift collection at your Hobby Lobby. And these candlesticks, I had not seen them in person, but only online. And let me tell you, they are very heavy and a nice substantial piece that would work in almost any type of decor. And the price was exceptional as well. Another part of the gift collection was this sculptured flower. There was the large one at $5.99 and the small one at $3.99 and they were lovely. These would be great placed on a coffee table book or on any kind of a bookshelf. And speaking of books, these marble and gold bookends were $19.99 for the pair. Again, part of that gift collection. They were very nice sized and very heavy. I rounded out my trip to Hobby Lobby by stopping by the floral department. I really liked these Real Touch tulip bunch. I had not noticed those last year in their spring collection, as well as this other floral stem. I will be going back for these at 50% off. They were very realistic, and I love that drooping effect. They came in two different colors that I seen, a cream and a lovely purple. Okay, so we're back home now, and I wanted to just take a second to show you the things that I bought when I was at Hobby Lobby. I loved a lot of those things, and once I got home, I really started thinking about the sculptured flowers. I didn't get them when I was there because they were almost like a black chalk, but then I got to thinking about if I rub and buff those, that they might be a really beautiful sculptural piece for either in the bathroom or in my formal living area. So you might be seeing a DIY come up on those again. But without further ado, let's take a look at what I got. I'm gonna start with the smallest thing. I didn't actually show this in the video, but after um, getting it, I wanted to let you know, this is a candle that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. It is zero gravity. It is absolutely one of my favorites. I always purchase their candles when they're 50% off. This one kind of reminds me of the Bacharach Cologne. It just has a really nice clean smell and that's what I like for my home. I don't particularly care for coffee scents or really sweet smelling candles, anything like that. I like something that's kind of clean and neutral. So that's one of my favorites. 
The second thing that I got, and I think we all know about this, but I just wanted to show you because as I mentioned in um, my video earlier this week, that if you haven't got a chance to watch as to why I'm here, I will link that at the end for you. The vases and containers at Hobby Lobby, when they are 50% off, they are a steal and they are so high end looking. If you really want something to elevate your space or make it feel a little bit more intentional, you can't go wrong with their vases. I had been ironing this one for um, quite some time and so I just went ahead and picked it up and I believe it was, I took the tag of it off of it already. I had it on my island. I'll show you how I styled that in here in just a few minutes. I think half price, it was less than $30, maybe 20, 25, and it's a very sizable vase you can see. So I have had this, um, tried it in my bedroom but I think where I really like it right now is on the island in the kitchen. The third thing I got is um, something that I showed you in the clip, and it is this print. I love this print. It is so dark and moody and exactly what I'm hoping to create in our bathroom. Um, our guest bathroom rather. I really like it and I don't know if you can see or if you could see in the B footage uh, that I had before but it's fringed and it's actually a fabric so it's a painting on a fabric and then it's almost three-dimensional off of the frame but I really couldn't pass this up and it was 40% off so I think it was like $27 which it's very sizable again I don't think you can go wrong for that price. And as I stated before, tapestries are really something that's up and coming right now um, in home interiors. So I think I don't personally have a wall that I could put a huge big tapestry on. If you do, let me know. I think they're fabulous. I think this is about as close as I'm going to get. The last thing that I purchased was a lamp that I've had my eye on. I have been looking at this lamp for months. I loved the dark mossy green color and just this wonderful brass at the base and on the finna, but I couldn't place in my mind where I would put it. And I always try to really be intentional with things that I purchase. I buy what I love, but I also try to buy what I love with a really keen eye as to where I think I might put it. And it finally hit me today in our bathroom. There's a corner in our bathroom, uh, the guest bath, that I always try to keep a nightlight or something on and going with the greens with this print that I hope to use and the black in there, I thought this might really work in the corner. Also, I have finally decided on wallpaper for my granddaughter's extra room that she has here at the house and it is going to be those moody greens and I'm thinking some eggplant. So if it doesn't work in the bathroom, I'm thinking it might really work on on a little table in her room to be next to the bed. So those are the four things that I purchased at Hobby Lobby today. I saw a lot of really beautiful things. Like I mentioned, I loved the fluted trumpet vase, but couldn't really picture right now where it will go in our house. So I opted to pass on that. If that's something that someone out there gets, please send us a uh, share with all of us, send us a shot in that and put it in the comments so that we can see how you utilized it. But I think that we found some things today at Hobby Lobby that really were budget friendly. Um, their lamps now are always, it says 50% off. So that was something else I noticed at Hobby Lobby on this trip. Now their mirrors and their lamps say 50% off as always. So I'm thinking now we're not really going to see those go through the rotation of being 50% off, but that like their furniture is always 30% off unless it's being clearanced. Now their lamps and their mirrors are also going to be 50% off always. So the lamp was $40, but I loved it. I've been eyeing it, like I said, for months. So I finally thought about a place to put it, so we'll see where it goes. Well, that's it. Everything I got on this trip to Hobby Lobby. I hope you enjoyed the content today. Thank you for spending time with me. Remember, a big thumbs up helps my channel so much. Like, subscribe, and share. Until next week, stay on the journey as we continue making our way home. Bye-bye.